Hi, so it's Mike here and I'm here with Kaylee Hack <laughs> and uh, we're here on the island of Ko Chang and we're here to learn a little bit about Kaylee and um, why she's here, what's brought her here and really just lots of things about you Kaylee, which everyone's interested. <laughs> so uh, well, first of all, how old are you and where are you from? I'm 25 and I'm from the US, I was born in Florida. Excellent. Tell me, what subject did you study at university? So I studied business administration um, with an emphasis in accounting. So at one point I thought that I was going to be an accountant. Right. Yeah. So obviously that's nothing to do with teaching English um, or teaching in any manner, really. No. <laughs> um, unless you wanted to teach accounting. No. Um, so, I mean, what's happened since then? So, um, during college I had the opportunity to have a great internship working with an accounting company um, and halfway through senior year I was about to graduate and the plan from there would have been to get my master's in, in accounting so then I could become a CPA and after that one internship I realized that the corporate world wasn't really for me. And so I heard about teaching English abroad through some friends and thought, let's, let's give it a go. This sounds pretty fun. What was it about the corporate world that made you think, this isn't what I want to do? Part of it was I felt like I wasn't contributing enough. I would, everyone just kind of wanted to get their deals done, but it was kind of like, for what? And I also didn't like the strict structure of working nine to five every day in an office. I like to yeah. kind of be out doing things on my feet. Yeah. A bit more flexible, a bit less robotic. Sort of. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. The nine to five grind. Not for me. Yeah, I think uh, I, I also felt similar. Um, I had a job as a district manager in a supermarket and um, although I did go, in, it was very varied. Um, it was a lot of work without much purpose, really. Yeah. So, um, okay, so how long did you plan on spending in Thailand? So, I originally was thinking I'd be out here for at least a year. For me, I thought that the whole Temple Heaven situation, they got me placed with my agency, and I just thought it sounded amazing. There's no way I'm going to want to leave in six months. But I did kind of think, okay, a year would be a good amount of time to live in Thailand, I felt like I studied abroad in college and I felt like just at like that five, six month mark, I just was like getting a feel for, uh, I was in Spain, so I was just getting a feel okay. for Barcelona. And so this time around, I wanted to commit to a little bit longer. So I thought, okay, a year, and then I'll move back to, I was thinking San Francisco or New York, and then go back to some sort of a high profile business job. Um, okay. But yeah, I quickly, I think once I got to Thailand, I called my parents. I was like, I don't think I'm going to be coming home anytime soon Wow. for a couple of years. So. What was it about Thailand that made you want to stay? Uh, I really love the lifestyle here. Um, In what way? Like, what, what do you mean the lifestyle? Because I'm sure everyone wants to know. Yeah, it's, it's a lot more relaxed. I don't feel like I have constant pressure to be uh, working hard all the time, which I think it's really important to work hard, <laughs> yeah. but it's also important to have time to relax and pursue your own personal interests. And yeah. I think I, can, I think I kind of know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. like working, when you work for things that are good and things that you enjoy, it doesn't feel like work. Mm -hmm, like, exactly. Like right now you're a TEFL trainer for yeah. us on Ko Chang, right? So I've taken you away from training area up there yeah and you're here uh, I think we're working hard right now I know I'm working hard right now you're working hard right now working very hard but it doesn't really feel like I work because I love teaching now and I love talking about my experiences teaching so for me I just feel like I'm chatting with a bunch of my friends teaching them how to make a really great lesson plan or something <laughs> like I don't really feel like I should be getting paid for this even though I should be <laughs> Yeah. Well, we might not pay you. No, no, we will pay you. Um, 
But do you think it's something to do with being more connected to a purpose that makes you feel more like that, or? Yeah, for sure, yeah. like, for sure. Because um, sometimes the corporate world, you kind of lose your sense of purpose. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, well, that's kind of how I feel. Anyway. Yeah, and I think this, this could happen with any job. So it's, for, like, for me, when I came out to Thailand, I really, truly found that I had a love for teaching, and mm. I teach yoga, too. I, like, now oh. learned that I love teaching adults. So for me, I found like a yes yeah purpose um something that i'm passionate about doing um but i think even i had friends that came out to thailand and they didn't think that teaching was they they decided to go back home and do something else but they okay. had a more clear idea of the things that were important to them right so their experience here gave them mm -hmm. a bit more perspective on yeah what they want for the future right mm -hmm. okay so tell us some hard things about living in thailand then Let's not sugarcoat everything. Sometimes it's not always chilling on the beach, yeah. on a swing, yeah. is it? Yeah, no, it's not. My friends sometimes will think that I'm just constantly on islands, which I do have the opportunity to go travel and go to lots of beautiful places, especially when I'm getting paid to be on this island for a month. But um, no, it's just not, it's not all living on islands the whole time. There's a lot of frustrating things about living in Thailand too. Maybe the your way of living is really a lot different here. To go to the market and you know you're trying to translate something that you want to get at the market it can be frustrating. Yeah. It could also be so rewarding because you like do something like, wow, I, <laughs> I I successfully got all the food that I needed to make this dish. <laughs> but it just everything takes a little bit longer. But what about if you if you order a meal at a restaurant oh. and something else comes out? Yeah, that, that happens all the time. <laughs> I realize just like you get what you get and um, yeah, but there's definitely some things, there's a lot of things that are really exciting and then to be honest, like I was so in awe and so everything was great and then you realize there are, like, Thailand's amazing, but there are some things about I'm, I could be in a rush and everyone here is pretty slow. And so I remember one time I was so, so sick and I was waiting at the pharmacy and just everything felt like it was taking years. And I just like wanted to go home and cry. I'm like, I just want my mom to like make me feel better. And like, so getting things like medicine or it's, yeah. it's, there's so many, you have friends and your co colleagues and people will help you out. But you know, sometimes you are on your own with, you know, getting better when you're sick or things like that. Um, I don't know, it's also hard sometimes being in Thailand, people perceive your life abroad as this like, your life sucks, everything's amazing, which it really, like I absolutely love my life here and I yeah. have so much opportunity to explore and have a lot more flexibility with my schedule, have a nice work-life balance. But, mm -hmm. you know, of course, everyone has their down days and a lot of times people think that traveling or living abroad is just like, rainbows and sunshine all the time and it's yeah. okay to be like you know what I'm on a beautiful island and I still f am frustrated about something maybe things are going on at home mm. I, it could be anything and you still could be like I want to cry why am I in this beautiful place and not able to fully enjoy it but I think everyone has those moments so yeah I found that as well like <clears throat> when I was in the UK um, a few times I got um, stopped by the police for speeding. Mm -hmm. Don't speed, it's not good, but uh, I did, and uh, it was quite frustrating for me. And then uh, in Thailand, I got stopped by the police for some other road <laughs> crime. Can't remember. Crime. Um, and uh, it was equally as frustrating. And at that point, I thought, do you know what? It's frustrating in both countries. Yeah. It must be nothing to do with the country. So I think a lot of times it's life yeah. that we get like frustrated by. Yeah. Sometimes I used to blame it on the country, like especially if it was something to do with the language. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, it's really frustrating when you order something and it doesn't come. Yeah. Uh, and I used to blame sort of Thailand as that, but um, yeah, especially... and actually that is Thailand that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thinking about it, because normally in a Western society, they wouldn't forget to bring out your food, but maybe. Um, but it happens more often in Thailand. Yeah. So. But it's still life. It's just life, isn't it? Yeah, so it's important to be like, hey, I still can have this amazing life in Thailand and sometimes might not feel 
feel down, but it's not like um, based on the place. Mm. But, yeah. yeah. Well, Kaylee, do you have any any tips at all for anyone watching that might be thinking, yeah, Thailand, I want to do that. Any tips? Yeah, I would say definitely do it. Take risks. Um, most exciting things happen from the things that you're kind of scared to do originally. Yeah. And good philosophy of life. Yeah. You know, moving into a whole other country is obviously a big, big step. And you get a big reward. It's a big reward, and then you realize all of the other things that you can do. So. Yeah. Great. Excellent. Well, thank you, Kaylee, for being on our video <laughs> and on the swing. And if you're interested in teaching English abroad, comment below and we may answer it if we're not too busy. <laughs>